All right, I have the mid-range tuned from F3 to F5, and I'm about to begin with the note F5. Now, really the very first thing that you should do is make the octave sound reasonable. Something like a beatless sounding octave, but not to the narrow side, and don't spend too much time trying to get it perfect, just within reasonable range. I'll give them all test blows. To settle any instability that there may be. And I'll go back to F5, which is an end string, and put a mute in there so I have a single string. Now I want to compare the double octave and the octave in fifth. In this piano, it's a vertical piano, so I have a muting strip under the dampers. In a grand, you would want to use your sostenuto pedal at this point if it has one. If it doesn't, you can use the damper pedal in the same motion that you would use a sostenuto pedal. But here I don't need to use any pedals because the muting strip is holding the dampers off the string. Naturally, I can't play a double octave with one hand, so I have to use two hands. Now I hear a beat in the double octave, but the octave in fifth or twelfth sounds virtually pure. So that means I have my double octave just a little bit wide. sound apparently in tune. The fact is, is that the double octave is still slightly wide and the octave in fifth or twelfth is still slightly narrow, but they're so close to being pure or beatless intervals that unless you listen for a very long time you're not going to hear any beat. And that's what we're trying to do here is actually fool the ear a little bit into thinking that both intervals are pure when we know that they're not. If both intervals are really correct, they sound right, but if either one of them is wrong, it really sticks out as being incorrect. And therefore, I don't have to think about it. I just do it.
let me, I didn't have too uh, bad of an example there, but let me show you an example of what can really happen and why this process is called mindless. an octave that sounds okay by itself, pretty pure. Double octave sounds pretty good too. But that octave in fifth is just intolerable. And so even if that's what you were doing is playing octaves, um, catch that. Your ear would not catch a double octave. But when you play twelfths, octaves and fifths, wake up. This does not sound good to the ear. So, same thing. Piano Technicians Guild tuning exam, the very highest octave has to be tuned in two one octaves. But most concert artists like the high end tune sharper than that. So we'll talk about both ways of conquering that. 